It is a worry all over St. Louis City. People fearing that city-owned trees might come crashing down in a storm. A short-handed forestry department, they have a tough time just trying to get to them. Residents in one south side neighborhood called on me to try to speed up the process that has dragged on way too long. The results in tonight's You Paid For It. Residents here on Neosho Street in South St. Louis are breathing a little easier now. The city-owned tree that they had called You Paid For It about is looking a lot better than before. I went back to talk to them about the latest. What's your reaction? I'm really happy it's gone. It makes my house look better. Why was this important to you? Because um, I didn't want my car or my house or anybody else's house in the neighborhood to be ruined. Here's what the tree looked like before my first report on this. Neighbors have been trying to get the city to cut down the tree for years. Months after the city promised to cut it down, it was still here. The city told them there was a worker shortage in forestry, but residents here say they still lamented the price they were paying. I showed you where branches had fallen off the city tree and damaged their vehicles. And like many, they feared what would happen if things got even worse in a storm. They've seen the damage and destruction all across the metro area during the many storms that hit the area. I was scared, you know, a big storm might come through and uh, might, you know, fall on somebody's house or somebody's car or even might kill somebody. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why I was really concerned about it. You feel a lot better now? I feel a whole lot better. Yes, I do. I'm so happy. The forestry department didn't just stop with trimming the branches. By the time they finished the job, only the stump was left, and that suited people here just fine. I kept calling and calling, and they weren't doing nothing. But as soon as you called, uh, they came right on out and cut the tree down. I can't take all the credit on this. I went to St. Louis City Alderman Joe Vollmer earlier this month, and he jumped in right away. I called the forestry director. He looked it up on the thing. It was scheduled to come down in late May, June, but uh, it got delayed because, like everyone else in the city, they're short-handed. Did you think it was going to get done this fast? No, and I, I'm kind of like, what did it take to get it done this fast? You know, mm -hmm. it's like you had to come here, and then they, they did it. So it kind of makes me wonder about the rest of the city. Is that what it takes for trees to come down? This time, we're able to help residents on Neosho in South St. Louis, who are a lot happier now. But remember... We're here to help you as well. So if you spot, of course, some government spending, just go to our website, voxfornow.com, where you can leave your tips and uh, tell me what you think. After all, you paid for it.